Welcome to Ankle Saw, and in this episode, we're going to discuss the prestigious Norm Smith Medal. Winners of this award on footy's biggest day of the year go down in footy folklore as instant legends as soon as they step on that dais to collect their coveted medal. And a special thanks to Dale Goodman, who suggested this idea for this episode. And while you're here, could you please do us a huge favour and hit that subscribe if you're enjoying the content, which will really help us out. We're aiming for a thousand subscribers by mid-year. So with that, we're going to move on to our episode and we're discussing again, like I said before, the Norm Smith Medal winners. Um, G'day Vito, how are you? Ange, what's happening? Just doing a bit of research on our next episode, Should which I'm really looking forward to. Some of, these, one. some of these I can't remember, to be honest. Yeah, you're going to throw some doozies There's some sure. beauties. Andrew, how are you? I'm fantastic, Angelo. And uh, your thoughts on Norm Smith medal winners in the past? Vito reckons there's been some doozies. Oh, uh, there's, be, there's been a few controversial ones. So. No doubt. Yeah, I reckon I'm thinking already. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, I know. He's say. been harping on one for a while. Oh, I don't know yeah, that well, one. but um, Oh, yeah, I, yeah, we spoke about that. Yesterday. So the Norm Smith medal was introduced in 1979. Okay, um, so prior to that, how do you win? Nothing. They just awarded a best on ground winner in the media oh. on, on the Monday. Oh, so there was a best on ground. <laughs> there was a best on ground winner, like a normal but home nothing, and away nothing game. Nothing was given no, on World was, of Sport or something. There was nothing. There was no, Dear, right. there was no Ballantyne's pack or uh, oh. ham or anything like that. It no, was just, so no, it was just, just on the Monday, best on ground was, you it's know. incredible. John Rantel in 1975. It makes sense because it was a... Amateur league. Yeah. League now, having said that, there's... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was it amateur now? Yeah. <laughs> and That's another episode. That's yep, right. Absolutely. And having said that, um, there's a lot of discussion about um, bringing or going back retrospective. in retrospective. Really? Yeah, there's been a couple of articles oh, that I've... Right. When I was doing I this know. research okay. that... They're thinking about Richard, but who knows? That would, would be a huge assignment. They just watch oh, the game, massive maybe assignment. Get five yeah, 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 how can you do? Yeah, that? Yeah. You just have to watch it, right, and get the oh, five experts. Yeah. And like, you probably get the stats. Like you just go on AFLTables.com, get the stats. Angstables.com, I mean, not AFL. So um, they had uh, five panelists that gave a three, two, one. So your right. maximum votes were mm -hmm. were fifteen. 15 yeah. um, and in, in the in the era, Dustin Martin's been the only player that's won three of them. And there's been uh, three players that have won two of them. Do you know one of any of them? McLeod. Correct. Gun. Gary Ayers. Correct. Yeah. Gary Ayers. That's a good get. Yeah. People forget Luke Hodge. He won two. Did yeah. he win two? Jeez. Okay. No, yeah. I didn't know People that. I forgot. No, I didn't know and that. And there were four players that won in a losing team. Nathan Buckley. Gary Ablett. One, two. Yep. Mm. Uh, I won't say it in Andrew Demetrio's voice. C. Judd. <laughs> Oh, yep. And I Judd, know the next when? One. West Coast Sydney Grand Final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I know the next one. He's a St Kilda player. No, no. Who are you going to no. say? Because I know where you're going. You wore number one for St Kilda no. back then in the Grand what, Final. Pickett. What? What? Mm. what ninety seven. Yeah. No, McLeod won ninety seven. We yeah. know that. Back to back, didn't he? No, yeah. no. The the, um, the draw the Grand Final. L Hayes won that. Did he really? Yes. That was a draw. Okay. Oh, you know who I'm thinking okay. of Jason Graham. We'll talk about that. Because you're right. What was I going, Justin are, Pickett? That's half You are half yeah, right it's... about Jason Graham. And when we get to that, okay. yeah, because I thought yeah, I'll, it was a bit of controversy. I'll revisit right. that. Yes, there was. Okay. All right. uh, Morris Rioli, 1982. Ah. So, um, oh, yeah, 1979, yeah. the inaugural winner. Inaugural. Did I pronounce that? Very yeah, well. Did done. Yes, yes. Was Wayne Harms. Uh, obviously, the legend we, we of know Wayne. about and how funny we brought him up the other day. We'll talk about Wayne Harms and his airport West days. Ah, yes, because yeah, he coached. Days there. coached he transformed that club. Um, look, that day, Ken Sheldon kicked three goals, 14 possessions. Wayne Harms, 17 disposals and a goal. But was it the famous... It's the famous... Knocking? Out, say out no bounds, more? Yeah. Oh, yeah. His stats always going to be... It's not always going to be the stats because you've got the most stats you're going to win it. Obviously, yeah. you know that. Yeah. It's going to be the impact you've made on that day. Yeah. And you made a huge impact. Well, that's the thing at the time. So, he was a good player. But Harms knocked it to Sheldon. Sheldon kicked the goal. Yeah, but if he didn't knock Gave it, him his three no goals. Goal. That's right. But it was out of bounds. End of story. But look, if I remember correctly, oh, I, I was a kid. Anyway. It wasn't. I was a kid, but I remember he did. He used to stand out, Wayne Arms. He was just big. Then you're, as a kid, yeah, he'd, he'd yeah. stand out. Big, big Barrel body. chested. Yeah, he could yeah. kick like a horse. Yeah, no, yeah. Running off half back, because that was his probably his best spot. I, I remember in the Olympics, the yeah. sports Olympics, which I keep going on about. <laughs> oh, we got he was the kicker for the AFL. I remember I was a kid. And I remember watching this thing. And it was the Olympics. It was soccer. 
uh, rugby, f- AFL. And, oh, VFL, you mean? VFL, yeah, RFL. And so I don't know some other sport, and he was the kicker. So they had, I don't know, a soccer guy kicking it, a rugby league guy kicking it, and Wayne Harms was kicking it. I, kicked it I remember mile. he kicked the hell out of it. It was Michael was Turner, the runner? Oh, pro- yeah, yeah, he <laughs> yeah. was. He was. In the, Vaguely remember yeah. it. Do you remember it at all? Him or, or Yates would have been the runner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How quick was he? He was. He was a racehorse. Um, so 1980, Kevin Bartlett, yeah. seven goals. So that's obvious, yeah, mate. That's that, that, I remember that game. Just, he tore him apart. Didn't but he? just like for the viewers, like, yeah, we know Kevin Bartlett, seven goals, but you know, David Cloak kicked six that day. Kicked six, yeah. Did he? David Cloak and kicked Jeff Franks, 36 possessions. The, big at the time, was the most, yeah, yeah it was a possession winner. All right, Butler kicked yeah, seven, but Butler so kicked seven, so he probably just kicked yeah. seven, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But then why couldn't Cloak win it with six goals? You know what I mean? Because he's David Cloak. Next. Couldn't kick. Uh, next, that's fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, true. Uh, 81 was, was a, well, for me, I couldn't see it. I've watched this game plenty of times. Hunter? Bruce Dool. Bruce Dool. No, 17 oh, possessions. Remember. The only thing I can think of, and I've watched the game, but I can't think of why he won Did, no, Did he I hold don't. Peter Moore? I'm assuming he's done a job. He's done a job on Peter Moore at full forward, I guess. I'm, I'm assuming he's done a job. I can't remember it, like, clear cut like that. No, yeah, I can't remember. But I'm you're assuming, right. I'm assuming that he would have done a job on a, on a key position, yeah. of the, a key player of the other side. Yeah, if, hence he wins. Yeah, it. I agree. That's all I can... I actually don't remember, but okay. 82 was, as discussed, Morris Rioli. M- yeah. Morris Rioli. Um, that day, Dale Waitman and Robert Wiley got 25 possessions each. Waitman was good and that they day. they still lost. They were in front of three-quarter time and got beat by three goals. So it was a grand you... final that no one talks about. Yeah, I was going to say. I know. It was a great they game of footy too. Coming back from four goals then, wasn't it? Carl? That's right. So what And happened? Helen Demenko played her role. Yeah, played her role. Yeah. On half yeah. forward. Was that an 82? I thought that it was changed yeah, the game. Was changed yeah. the game. She should have got Norm Smith. She probably should have. <laughs> so Riola got the Norm Smith that day. Yeah. Obviously, Richmond were good for three quarters and just couldn't get over the line. And, but well, he but still then obviously the, the Carlton. Obviously, there was no standout Carlton player. Like they came back and won as a team. Yeah, yeah. there was no standout. Well, I had to look at Carlton players that could have won it. Like um, Alex Marcou had thirty-one touches that day. Jeez. So okay. he was. Now, um, one thing on Rioli though, he's nineteen possessions. He kicked three goals. So probably yeah, fair enough. set him up early, yeah, you would suggest. Early. So this is where, this is my worst Norm Smith medal winner. Oh, 80. no, no, no. I know who you're going to say. 983. I know okay. who it is. I, Colin Robertson. Yep. Yeah. I did a bit of research on, well, I've watched the grand I, I final. Remember, I don't remember. I spoke to I, a, I know him, but I remember him. I spoke to it. a staunch Hawthorne supporter. Staunch. And bounced it off him who was there the day. And, yeah. Uh, I thought, what are your thoughts on the 83 and he agreed with me. That's why I've gone with it because he would know better than me. Yep, yeah, being a Hawk supporter. Yeah, yeah. Now Colin Robinson. Yep, he won it with uh, thirty disposals, Mate. but he got nine free kicks that day. What? Yeah. Nine. But nine. For what? Is that, no, no, is that a record? Got to be. It's got to be the record. I don't. I've never heard of a player getting more. So than... So if you're getting nine free kicks Selwood to the umpire, the umpires are always seen him. Yeah, yeah. Because like I sure. said, my staunch Hawthorne contact yeah. said, "Yes, I can't believe why Lee Matthews didn't win it with six goals." Oh, dear. Yeah, but they kicked 26 goals or something. They smacked Yeah, they kicked 20, 20. 20, 20. They kicked okay. 20, 20. Still, Lee so, Matthews kicked six, the captain. So I know. Went four, played on the ball. And, 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 you know, like, led the way as the captain. Led the way. Yeah, I'm surprised. So Terry Wallace got 32 possessions and John okay, so Kennedy what was Robinson's as well. reasoning? What, what, what was his stats that day? What was 30, he got 30, 30 touches, touches, admittedly. I'll tell you But what. nine of them were free kicks. Yeah, but he tackled a lot. I remember... He tackled a lot. Yeah, there was a. He should be a wrestler then. Yeah, he should be. There was a um, <laughs> Colin Robinson chased down someone. Yeah, I remember as a kid. Did you don't win a Norm Smith medal for Hang tackling. On. Sorry, I've interrupted you. Thank you. <laughs> so, I remember as a kid, he he ran, like it seemed like he was going at two hundred miles an hour, and someone like Tim Watson, he chased him chased down. Chased him down. Tom Watson, right? you mean? And I remember. <laughs> VHS rewinding. I was going to say, you're rewinding. not texting in 1983, are you? Rewinding, <laughs> rewinding, and going, oh, how good was that tackle, right? So if I could see there's a kid, yeah. imagine 30 touches, he was pretty influential. Like, oh, so, I know, I reckon, I reckon so your favourite player is Colin Robinson? No, <laughs> that day he was. One eternity later. Peter Schwab, and Weston breaks clear for Essendon. Robertson chasing, and Cordy. He's had the lead match, he's not winning it, but anyway. Yeah, yep, yep. Because for him to kick six, I know what you're saying, they kicked 20 goals, but he, he kicked six, who sets it up? Who sets it up early? Well, he would have he played through the midfield as well as who? playing small forward, anyway, or medium okay. forward. Oh. 1984 was Billy Duckworth. 
Oh, yeah, because he, yeah. he's moved from the back line to the forward line. <laughs> yep. And Sheedy's premiership. We've all, Sheedy's premiership. We've heard so that he one. Three before. goals. Yeah, fair Swung enough. forward. I thought he was. Oh, I thought him. I thought, but then again, I don't know. Maybe Leon Baker. No, 100%. No, 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 you're 100%. You he you kicked four goals that day. Come yeah. on, mate. Yep. Okay. If it wasn't for Duckworth going forward, they don't win the game. I don't know about that. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, I'll be Gee, lying. I thought Baker... He kicked goals. How good, he, how good was he in the middle? Of last, he turned him inside yeah. out, didn't he? Two yeah. last quarter goals. Yeah. Was that his only game of football? Because I can't remember anyone that it's, ever talked. He's actually a good footballer. It's was funny it? you say that because okay. the what following year he got twenty eight possessions and kicked three goals and didn't win the norm the following year either. Jeez, so he's had, got, I think I know he's had two of them, ripping yeah. grand finals. I'm sorry, he should have won the Norms fifteen eighty four. I remember that. I agree, very very vividly. But but back in those days, if you put a backman forward and he kicks goals, that's a big What deal. did Duckworth kick three goals? Essen supporters, be just in the comments, let us know if Leon Baker would have been a worthy Norm Smith medal winner ahead of totally Billy, du- Billy Duckworth. All right, fair enough. 985, Simon Madden, yep. 22 disposals, 22 hitouts. I picked that. Did you? Back then. I remember at high school, we... Um, they had a sweep. Yeah, we had a sweep. How yeah, good was I said, it? Oh, Simon Madden. Yeah, he was dominant. Yeah, he was dominant. And like I said, Baker, you know... Got his 28. But if a, in those days, I suppose a bloke like Madden, who's probably these days is a midfielder height, not midfielder, you know what I'm trying yeah, to get yeah. at. Yeah, he but he, he was unbelievable. Yeah. But they won by 80 points. Yeah, they yeah, record. Smashed yeah. Them. yeah. Yeah, but it was high scoring. Yeah. Like Hawthorne kicked nearly 92 that Is that day, where Dermy kicked? Eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. broke eight. the record. Broke the record. Okay. Yep, yep. What? You Who? can't give him the North. No, 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 fair enough. They lost by 50, 12 goals. Yeah, I do you agree. agree? You can't give it to North Smith. Yeah, no, nah, I'd... no, I agree. Oh, you no. can. Yeah, we, there was a player Not five years you... later that won it, but then again, it was a close yeah, game. It was a close game. You the can't great. give it to him, and they lost by seventy something. No, no, I agree. true. I agree. Yeah, true. Anyway, I agree. Eighty six. Bad day for me. Hang any, on. Any boys want to? Uh, might have a crack. Gary Yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Oh, I looked at. Like I said, I've watched all the grand finals inside out. <laughs> we all yeah, have. We've here. watched them, but not inside out like. Yeah. Um, the king. It perplexes me as to perplexes. why he won it. Again, Hawthorne really? supporters. Well, um, Dunstall kicked six that day. And Gary Bacanara kicked 4-4 four, four from a yeah, half-forward Gary Bacanara flank. Gary almost took the and mark of the century. He did. Oh, that had, day, was it? Yeah, so he jumped over Bruce Was Gary is that good? Did he have a role? He, he would have played See, again, on... that's what I'm saying. I know he, he would have played on, on Kernan or Dorothy. He, did he play on Kernan and Kernan kicked two yeah, goals yeah, and right. had eight touches? I'm oh, just Kernan did have a quiet... Length of the... Yeah, Langford took Kernan. Used Kernahan. to play on a lot. Yeah, I know. I so can't that's remember. Just a, oh, that's true. Langford did take yeah. Kernan. And again, right. in the moment. Yeah, and look, we're going back 30 years. That's right. Over 30 that's years. Right. So, yeah, maybe he was the best yeah. player. Like, in that yeah, era. Yeah, at like, the, and at the time, that day, in the moment. Yeah, the way the game was played. If you look back at it now, you probably think, yeah, yeah. why? But mm. back then, he probably Tell us about best. Bucky's miss mark. I'll try and find it and put it up in the episode. But he he almost jumped over Bruce. Oh my lord! And he was up yeah. that high. He got scared and dropped it. Like he yeah. took it up here. Like here. massive jump. So he was on his shot. It would have been the greatest mark of all time. The front cover of the video of the grand final has that, a picture of, of that. that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, will they? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you're right. I like okay. to see the actual action of it. Yeah, I yeah. just came. It was a middle we'll of the ground. We'll be able to find that. Dippy Domenico starting well for Hawthorne at left centre wing. Bacanara, mile in the air. 1987, you the would have been happier. The, yeah, I was very happy. And um, the greatest AFL. Reese so James? Speak. Yeah, no, yeah. it was. Did a job on Dermy. Because right. it was a big... I remember, yeah, I remember that. Not because it was really... I remember they were yapping off for years after that about oh, how yeah. he destroyed Dermy. Yeah. Oh, he destroyed yeah. him. Yeah, there was no one close to him that day for Carlton. See, I thought, as a Carlton supporter that day, I thought... Wayne Johnson set the He was plan. good, yeah. He got 26 he possessions. He two goals in the first quarter. He virtually started it yeah. all. Yeah, he did. And like, that day, he was awesome. that day, Michael Tuck wore a short sleeve. Yeah, because it was 31 degrees. And so did Mark Naley. But I'm sorry. Did he usually I, wear long sleeves? He did, but I, not as much as... I actually agree with the winner, though. Yeah. Because yeah. Berrien was their key, mate. Those yeah, days, he was, he was an absolute yeah, he superstar. Was. He was. Superstar. Yeah, he was. star. Yeah. Yep. So... 88? Hang on. 88. I'll look through these, and this is about right. There was no one... Was a, oh, that was Hawthorne. Hawthorne might have about 600 points. Yeah. It, it, was it Paul Abbott? No. Because I remember he kicked six that day. Okay. He kicked six that day, yeah. Ah, uh, hang oh. on. If it wasn't Dipper. Paul, nah. Gary Ayres. 
again. Mm. Jeez. I did win two. You did say that. 22 possessions. But what, what do you do? Okay, that? what do you do? that? Play well, again. Wasn't that game over in the first 15 yeah, minutes? Yeah, yeah it, was, it was over early. I remember stop watching. I stopped Dude, watching. And yeah, I remember going in the backyard and having a put his boots on at halftime, the fluoro boots. Remember that? No, huh? yeah. After halftime. After halftime, the lead. Put the fluoro boots. He could. He was a star. And that was when they presented the cup and they were running around with... Tip top bread. Tip top. Because Dermy tells a story that they got sponsored by Tip Top. Oh. Well, wanted to be. Sp- they paid for their end of season trip. Tip Top did. They did too. So he's like, that sounds about right. I don't care. I'll put in the Premiership Cup, pay for it, you know. So, That's yeah. unbelievable. I didn't well, know going, that. What's going on yeah, here? Yeah, so Dermy. Loaves of bread in the cup. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did... That was hilarious. But anyway. Uh, I didn't know. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Did, you've seen the vision, though. Yeah, I have, but I. But you yeah. never thought of it. No, I never thought of it. He only revealed said, it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll put it up. It's it's funny. Do you think a lot of people loathe it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good one. On. He's bad. in form. He's Not getting bad. better. Well, he's crying for a coffee five minutes ago. Yeah, he was. He's asleep, so yeah, yeah, I'm away. The only thing missing from a lack of honour, <laughs> though, would be uh, I don't know, maybe. Bread being tossed into the, <laughs> into the your sponsorship with Tip Top uh, somehow making its way onto the grand final day. What Dermot. are you doing? <laughs> what? Uh, tell me you got a lot of money for that, Durham. What happened? Uh, what was the background? Of yeah, that? we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we That's did. That's what you play for, isn't it? A cup full of bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, shameless, Brett. No, it's... Tip Top said. Well, do you think you're going to win? I said, win. We'll win by 100 points. <laughs> um, got it wrong. I think we won by 96. Um, and they said, we want to put bread in the cup. And, run and they, in those days, they said, 25. And I said, I went back to the playing group and said, boys, we've been offered 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> and they bought it. And then when they brought it around... Uh, they said, oh, we're not putting that in there. And I said, boys, there's 10 grand for the end of season trip. And they go, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, the next one's 89. The Hawthorne great Geelong. Gary Ablett. Uh, that's, there's no, it's a no-brainer. What, what a game. Mate. I think it's, yeah. The, yeah. I don't think I've seen any of like it. No, that was Great incredible. game. There were some really good performances that day mm. that Ablett overshadowed. Really? Hawthorne lost Platten and Dipper. Yeah, in the first. Dermy. Oh, I thought Dermy. Kept, Dermy, didn't, Dermy yeah. played. Didn't he play out with that? He yeah, he kicked played. Three no, he goals. was incredible that he day, was, Dermy. Yeah, he could have. Dip out of the collapse line. Well, dip out, so they had Platinum concussion. They had yeah. a lot of heroes, if so that's what you want to call it. To stay in that game, they had to rely on Darren Pritchard, who was good that day. Very good. He had 26, yeah. 27 possessions. Peter Curran kicked three. Dunstall? Dunstall kicked uh, six. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. It was a high-scoring game, though. Yeah, it was. was. Derby kicked game, three. That's what kicked four, sorry. But Dean Anderson, Dean Anderson kicked four. Kicked four. Yeah, I remember had all these four. contributors that were it, like... It was it's funny. Every time kicked. Geelong made a run, Anderson would pop up, kick a goal. Yep. And it was like... Because I was going for Geelong because I love Gary Ablett. Yep. Pardon the punt. Gary Ablett's going to win this game for the Cats. We all know where that's oh, come yeah. from. But that's what it nearly was. Well, well, yeah. yeah, he nearly won So how does he not win the medal? The bloke was a joke well, that day. Yeah, yeah, well, he did. He did. And he was outright... Like, it was just incredible, yeah, that yeah, performance. Super stuff. That super day. Stuff. And, and he he ironed out Dipper early with that hip and shoulder. He, no, he's a, he was a champion. Hip and shoulder? You mean from Oh, no, he was, behind, he was going ribs. back. That's right. From the, that's how he punched his... Dipper was going back with the fight. Yeah. You know, that's... Look, that's been done to death, that grand yeah. final. Like yeah, Many agree. forums. And, so, 1990... Oh, uh, we know who won that. Collingwood. Tony Shaw, wasn't it? Yeah, forever. Darren Malane got 30 possessions. I thought he was good that day. Yeah, I remember him. Do you um, know that grand final, to be honest with you? You know, you said Tony... Like, I just knew it was Tony Shaw, but I couldn't lost, tell you. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't tell you what happened, what he fight, did and what he really, didn't do. that Gavin Brown got knocked yeah. out. And, yeah, it's no... Um, Dan O'Hurl was going around sm- smashing. Yeah, he was, like, he was, yeah. yeah, he was a thug that day. Was a, that we've day, talked yeah. about Terry Dan and my theory on... Yeah, he's just a thug I footballer. Dirty, but I think he was a tough He whacked Gavin Brown. That day, I thought... Because, again, I've watched that grand final many times. Doug Barwick kicked two. Scott Russell kicked two. Okay. Dacos kicked and Dacos two, but kicked two. two. Rippers. Oh, the, two one rippers. Kicked, the one he kicked from the so uh, those kick side, wasn't it? Yeah. Boundary, yeah, yeah. yeah. So those three kicked six of Collingwood's 13 goals. Oh, I don't know. That was, was an ugly. Was, was that an ugly grand final or was it just me? It was ugly. It was ugly. It was low scoring. It was they five. five goals. Yes. It's, yeah. It's an ugly five, grand five, final. Yeah, yeah. Five, 13 or whatever. It's strange. It was a perfect day. It was a beautiful day. Connor would just shut him out. Yeah. But anyway, we're not talking about grand finals, we're talking about Norm Smith. Yes. Yep. So, 1991? No, I know this. Uh, 1991. I know this. Okay, go, yeah. No, I'm straight not sure. up. Rest in peace, Paul Deere. Yeah, correct. I didn't even know Paul Deere. He passed. Last year. Before yeah. Christmas, I think. 
Fantastic. Rest in peace. Um, yeah, he won the Norm Smith. But why? Because he was a nobody and just sort of burst onto the scene and kick off four or five goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick a bag that yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick, oh, no, kick in, two, I've got. Two. But he got 26 disposals say, and helped Lawrence in the ruck. Yeah, yeah, he was good in the was, ruck. And yeah. he was only like six foot I think four, at the time, it? I reckon I thought, yeah, that was okay. Did, well, after he won, did he go on the Batmobile? Yeah. <laughs> did a lap of water on the Batmobile? Yeah. With his arm um, cape? That was embarrassing. Oh, but dear. that anyway. day, because that was the grand final, we all know, was at Waverley. And Doomy kicked, sorry, Dunstall kicked six. And Dermy kicked four five and whacked Ashley McIntosh that day. Four five, but see, and the Eagles were never their, in it that day. That was their quota, four and six. Those two always right. what? Oh. So if Paul would you Deere, love to have two forwards? If Paul Deere has twenty six touches, yeah. I just thought Dunstall yeah, and Breda might have someone on the line in that era. Oh, I see his point. I see his point. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he had to kick nine like Ablett had to oh, kick nine. To yeah, win. a massive performance. Six goals by Breda. His stock standard. Winning, yeah, that's what I mean. Like it's yeah. So 1992, pretty easy one. Oh. 92, I can't oh, I've got a West blank. Coast Eagles, Geelong. I'm blanked. Is it? Cats hat were all over him Someone early. Someone kicked five goals and won the Norm Smith. Cats were off all over wing. him early. And then West Coast. It was an Ablett. Off the wing. Because oh, you, know, you played off the wing sometimes. Oh, not, not later than, not then. Not then. Who kicked five? No, you got me. Peter Matera, mate. Oh, he did so. What a, what a performance. And... He, he, kicked, he kicked a couple two, of goals. He kicked two or three absolute oh, ball bursts. Yes. All on the run. How do I don't remember that, actually. Peter Matera. Peter Simich kicked six that day. Mm. Did he? Yeah. Again, sort of stuck Your standard. theory? Yeah, that's your theory. Yeah, yeah. five a week, those forwards back then, you know? Yeah, so, yeah they were. Yeah. And you know what? Let's be honest. Those days, we all agree on this. We've, we've spoken about this. Yeah, it was easy. Coffees. Yeah. It was one on one. Dunst will kick seven. Kerry will kick six. Uh, Ablett will kick eight. That good. You know, yeah. and, no, it was good, but that's just how it was, right? Yeah. So unless you kick as a, one of those forwards kick 8, 10, 12, yeah, yeah. you're not going to get wrecked. Brownlow. Like, yeah. yeah, but Material was a worthy winner that day. Five no goals doubt. off the wing. Incredible. Just, Only eight in possessions. And what else happened in that game? What Most else? Famous commentary moment of all time. Oh, was yes, it was. Peter Peter Wilson. Wilson yeah. Cork in the oh, ocean. Yes, it, was. Comedic, it was too. Yes. Yeah, so that was Good a get. Cork, that was a Cork in the ocean game. Good addition, that one. Brennan. Finds it on the ground. Was he carried forward? No. Wilson, like a cork in the ocean over his head. It's, oh, my word. 93, Michael Long, 33 touches. Yeah, I knew that. Mm -hmm. um, two goals. But Paul Salmon, that, okay, I'm going to say, you're, you're right. I'm, you've convinced me because Paul Salmon that day kicked six. And you're right. Standard. You're right. You're right. You're right. You've convinced me. Yep. I never thought of it that way. Yep. But you're right. Salmon kicked six. But that's a fair effort in the grand final. Yeah, Great effort in the grand final. But I'll say this. Did Salmon get 10 possessions and had four kicks straight down his throat? I'm not saying he's still got to kick him. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. But 33 but touches. They won the game two by goals. six goals and he's kicked six. That's what, yeah, but. And Long's helped them a lot. Long, Long's more than helped. 94 was West Coast Geelong. West Coast Again, yep. belted Geelong. Dean Kemp. Yeah, Dean Kemp. Yeah, only got that. 23 touches. I looked through the stats. Played well, though. I yeah, but I remember, it, I remember watching he that. He did play well. And, uh, he, you know, you know, I remember Dean Kemp on that he was game. Clean. Yes, he was just clean. classy. Got the ball and just go. It's going to hit a target. It's going to kick a goal yeah. or whatever. It just clean. That's a perfect way yeah, to describe yeah, clean. that. And for draft pick eighty three. Oh my lord, like he was a good footballer, wasn't he? Back then, they, they could nail the high draft picks. James Hurd and all those guys. Yeah, there yeah, they could. Brett Hetty had a fair no, bit of position that good. day too. Uh, Nineteen ninety five. Let's have a discussion on that. That's a big discussion. I was there that day. Of course you were. I think the winner should have won it. Greg Williams, five goals, 31 disposals. Oh, God. He Over was... to you. Anthony Kudafidi should have won yeah. comfortably. 31 positions. I thought he was the best player on the ground that day. Good but, point. But that's just me. But Kernan kicked five that day. Against stock standard. I disagree. <laughs> you reckon Greg I Williams? I think Diesel deserved it. I thought he was really good He was that day. outstanding. Mate. That bloke, 31 touches, was it? Yeah. I guarantee you, and I'm just throwing up a figure, I guarantee you 25 hit targets. But he played forward. Kicked five from a four pocket. Yeah, yeah, four I mean. pocket. Nah, I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong, 39 touches, Cooter. No, nothing to, nothing to sneeze 31. at. 31. 31. It's Cooter, 31. Yeah. 31. What did yeah. the diesel have? Same 31. amount. And kick five? Yeah. Nah, really? Sorry. But again, 31 touches for diesel, stock standard. Right, so take that out. But the five, five goals, goals is stock not... standard. Yeah, go back. I implore you to go back and watch. No, no, Kuda no. Fides in that grand final. Tell me if you. No, I'm not gonna. Play. I'm not gonna deny. I'm not He's gonna not believe you. But I, I just thought he was. Sure, the one for me. It was a no-brainer that day. I watched him. I've gone look at this bloke. You're a superstar, Diesel. Don't get me wrong, but I think Diesel, was... you destroyed them. Okay. For me, worthy. Cult supporters, 
How about having a crack in the comment? Let us know. Cuda or Greg Williams. In 95. Um, so 96. I don't think this bloke should have won it. Here we go. I don't know who won it. 96, North Melbourne. Yeah, Sydney. I know it was North Melbourne. Glenn Sydney. Archer. Yeah, Archer. Yeah. I thought Corey McKernan was out and out the best player on the ground. Well, that he day. reckons another bloke. Yeah, let's have that I, discussion. I remember watching that game and thinking um, Glenn Freeborn stood out. For 15 minutes. Yeah, but that 15 minutes was crucial. because I'll tell you what. I remember Sydney were on top and he kicked three goals and kept them in. 100%. Middle. Freeborn, and, you're going, sorry. And that, if he didn't do that, they could easily have run away with it, Sydney. That's my five thoughts. goals down, weren't they, at the time? Freeborn doesn't kick three. He's got a point. He doesn't kick those goals. He, he set them alight. And pardon the punt. He set them alight. He's, he's right. So, well, he got him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you reckon Corey was the best on the ground? Oh, yeah. 29 possessions, 15 or 16 hit outs. Okay. Was battling a knee injury all week. Do you remember he yeah, hurt I himself? That, um, That's interesting. I just always the big, thought. The big knock free. on. The big knock on oh, yeah, to Freeborn. I do remember that. Before half time, ah, he was outstanding. I remember that. He was tremendous. So, what did Glenn that. Archer do to win it? Just well, stand in front of Tony Lockett. Yes. Nah, <laughs> Danny Laley did that all day. Really? Are you yeah, joking? Danny Laley. Don't remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. they You're said right. that they go. He could get cleaned up at any given moment, and he stood there and she, she stood was, there yeah, all day, just in the in the hole every time. Okay. She was good. In Tremendous. those Absolutely. moments, there was big Tough. moments. There was big Tough. moments where she just back, back, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. punch. I'm sorry. So that was gutsy. All so day. that was her role. Then what was Archer? Archer was more so what did Archer do? center half back. He was like, um, okay. uh, like mm. third defender. All right. I'm well, telling you, it was, it it was a strange yeah. decision. Yeah, I, I thought. Okay. I thought Kerry only kicked one, that, one or two that day. Dunkley does a good job on him. He's really quiet. Okay, too much on North on that yeah, grand final. Move on. Move on. 97. Or 97, 98, the double. A superstar of the highest order. just got one, one bugbear about 97. I thought Darren Jarman Darren might have been stiff. Fantastic. Perhaps. Yes, yes, but yes. But the cloud was outstanding. What about Shane Darren, Allen? Shane Allen, he kicked six. From the halfback flank. Mad. Is that not cause Did, for a Norm Smith? Now, is that... I what do you mean by playing a halfback day? It wouldn't have been... No, well, he, so he was no. just... He wasn't playing half back. He, yeah, they played him. Uh, half back flank. Really? H B. Do you know flank. Malcolm Blight has said in a doco I had a dream of Goodwin get going to the middle and Allen going forward. Yeah, yeah, I've seen you that. Because he's had that, a dream. Adelaide, um, yeah, do, yeah, it was good actually. Because right, Just I remember he kicked five. Jarman kicked six two as yeah. well that day. Oh, he made him dance that day, Jarman. Mm. Uh, I'd say McLeod. Okay, I mean, but I'll yeah. say this. Who would have been the one all day that just would have been? He orchestrated it. You know, St Kilda were on top early and McLeod would be the one to get that ball out, to get it to yeah. these guys. To we had goals. 31 that day. so Nah, for me, it. fair enough. But right. look, if Jarman wins it, you wouldn't go... Oh, you no. Know. What about if Shane Allen wins it? Yeah, same thing. Six goals from... Five, mm. I think. I think five. it might be five. I think five. you're right. Because Jarman kicked six. What a fair effort. So look... Six, two, uh, mind uh, you. Yeah, no, I wouldn't have, no, I wouldn't have said anything about that. Either, but McLeod, I thought, was all worthy. Right. 98. McLeod again. again killed us, mate. That year, well, he had 13 clearances I thought, um, in 98. My, 13 clearances? I thought David King should have won it for ruining the game for North. Oh, what did what he, he do? do? Oh, he kept on kicking it along the ground. and He, he couldn't kick a football. Oh, there was mo- that's not, not talking grand yeah, final. Yeah, I know. There was it. moments in that grand final, though. That, I yeah, mean, 6-15 at half time and yeah, but eight, McLeod, eight behind But I remember this. Half. Mate, we were all there. We were all there. McLeod, couldn't stop him. Unstoppable. Okay. Unstoppable. Yeah, couldn't yeah, stop him. That. So, 99, the winner in the North Melbourne. Shannon Grant. Was Shannon Grant. And again, I I found better players. And I, Name Me too. I thought Peter Bell was the we're best by a mile that day. day. Weren't we? Yeah, we were. Do you think Peter Bell was good that day? I thought he was very good. I thought Shannon Grant was BOG, though. Really? Kick goals. Um, didn't kick, make many. Kick four. four. McKernan, yeah, didn't make. Yeah, Corey, 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 Corey Mc, changed it. Corey McKernan was best in. Close to best in both yeah, North Green finals. Yeah. I thought Byron Pickett was good that day too. Oh, I thought Shannon Green deserved it, to be honest, oh, when he got okay, it. Fair enough. Four goals. I, mean, do you know, I know possession is not... 19. Pretty. Yeah, but he was, again, you want to talk about clean? He was clever. He made space. He kicked four and probably created another couple. Oh, yeah, I thought he was... I, I've, got a, I've got a question for you. Does Carlton get invited to the, um, you know, when they do the reunion for the premiership that year? Carlton? Yeah, to the For 1999? Yeah, to help them. <laughs> 
I'd they just, get invited? Yeah, I'd but just, I reckon if you want to talk about Cooter's performance, I'd be thanking him. He's a great premiership player for North. He didn't even play that day. No, but I reckon yeah. Essendon... He was brilliant the week I, before. You know he said he handed his premiership. I think North would have beaten Essendon. And I don't want to talk well, about the finals. They Essendon, would, a crack at Essendon were cooked. They, yeah. I agree. If Ma- Essendon you know, got... Talking, <laughs> yeah, I may, know. Maybe, but it didn't happen. You didn't have to take that chance, right? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But Carlton it's a good theory. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's a good theory. I thought he was a worthy winner, Shannon Grant. 2000... James Heard. Okay. Again, another grand final that didn't do that. Yeah, but again, 31 possessions, two yeah. goals, and 15 contested possessions. Yeah, oh, right. That's Move just on. huge. Yep. So 2001 was Sean Hart, 23 possessions. Which, you know what? Was he that good that day? I, I can't, remember the honestly, time. Honestly, yeah. I, I can't remember. I'll be honest. Like, yeah, you I tell me Sean Hart. I remember the grand final, but to say Sean Hart was outstanding, Ma- I don't know. Michael Voss had the same amount of disposals and kicked two goals. Yeah, but Michael Voss, Michael Voss, because of his standards, yeah, he'd have to get 35 exactly. touches to win it. So, so are we going to rate champions like that? Well, then, they are. That's, you know that's what I mean? the standard, though. They set the standard. That's the problem. Yeah, though. that's the thing. That's the... So after, after 2001, it was hard to get research on the voting system at all. Right. But then from 2002, the AFL released... The voting, which, one, yeah. which is good publicly. So I'd like to know going back, yeah, what oh, that'd be we don't know. I no, couldn't we'll find know. it. So 2002 was Nathan Buckley. Yep, I remember that. Brisbane, was... very contentious this year for th- that particular year. Why? Because this was the final year that the panelists were asked to vote early in the last quarter. Oh right, yes, yes, I remember that. That's yeah, I yeah. disagree with that. So all that time that we've just discussed, the panelists had to vote. Three quarter three time, quarter time. And early into the last. Jeez, a lot can happen in the last. Quarter. I know. Well, I got staggered. So that's why Leon Baker didn't win it. That's right. That's there right. you go. Yeah. There you okay. go. You. Yeah. There you go. There you You're go. Right. Because. Yep. I agree with that. Leon Vos Baker finished. Yeah. Vos finished second with eighth, but they all said afterwards that Vos's last ten minutes, he got eight disposals. See, kicked, kicked a goal. That's crazy. His last ten minutes was that's, mad. That's and two yeah. panelists, I don't know who they were. I read the article saying. I would have given if I was allowed lost to the watch votes, last yeah. ten minutes of that game, it would have been Voss. Yeah, he lost by four votes. Yeah, exactly. nah, see, that's His last ten minutes. And you're right. That's perfect. What you said about yeah. Duckworth. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Leon Baker. Leon Baker. Yeah. Okay. So 003, Simon Black, perfect score, fifteen votes. No problem. He was no outstanding. A million touches, didn't he that day? He was unstoppable. I'm glad you brought that in did, did because our, the newspaper article mm. from the Age was death by thirty nine cuts. <laughs> Jesus. And Black's okay. performance was tremendous. All right. 39. Fair effort. 004, Byron Pickett. Yeah, I remember. Port Adelaide beating Brisbane. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was, was he was good. He was great that day. And Wanganeen mm. and Burgoyne. An indigenous trio. Yeah. Tri- trifecta. 005, we spoke about, was Chris Judd mm-hmm. with 11 votes. And Didn't who came second and third? I'm curious. In 005? Yeah. Nick Fosdyke. Fearless Fosdyke. <laughs> Fearless Fosdyke. <laughs> Nick Fosdyke. <laughs> Uh, Kevin what about Bartlett third? Um, uh, if you say, uh, what's his name? Ashley Hanson. No know. one will get this. Yeah. Uh, who did he play for? He was a centre half back, centre half forward. He was he was for the West Kevin Coast. Walsh Sydney Swans. Oh, Lewis Roberts Thompson. Lewis Roberts yeah. Thompson. Oh dear. Third. Kevin Walsh of Sydney. Third. Double yeah. O six. Andrew Embley, tremendous that day. He was absolutely what tremendous. Was his name? Andrew Embley. That's Embledon, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll get to that. I'm not going to pronounce. Neither am I. You we can. should get Arnold Breedus on. <laughs> Breedus. <laughs> uh, oh, Prince Stock Standard, Brett Kirk finished second, and yeah. Coxie got votes there. Yep. 007, Stevie J, romped yeah, it in. Yeah, the Ripper. Yep. Chapman and Scarlett, second and yep. third. 008, Hodge got a perfect 15. Mm-hmm. Who, was, who was better that day? Oh, Hodge was, was great. Finally again, Hawthorne. No. 008. Hodge was great. Who was it, Hawthorne? Geelong. Anymore? Geelong. Started well early. That's right. Come over the top of him. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Who, who, Stewie you want to talk about your Glenn Stewie Freeball Drew. moment? Correct. Stewie Drew. He was incredible. In the third quarter, didn't he nine kick, of them. Didn't he kick two or three unbelievable yeah, in the third goals? quarter, yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah. One yeah. See, that's first the year at Hawthorne. Clark O rang him when he was sitting. Yeah, he, he was retired He was or sitting in a resort in somewhere. No way. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. No way. They called him and, mm-hmm. you want to, and he's like, I've just had my 15th beer and I've been drinking for 24 hours straight. Yeah. I don't think I'm in any condition to... Play AFL for What did he again. say? No, no. He said, no, just sort it out. We'll call you in another month. Yeah. 
Yeah, rest is history. Yeah, Far pretty much. Out. One of them premiership. Rest is history. They went due to win. They, they were near. They were due. Pardon the pun. They Incredible premiership for them. That was one you know, of the... You know, yeah, game was, early, they right? They snuck that one. I remember it was yeah. a hot day, right? I remember it was, it was like, a very yeah, hot day. And I remember early in that game, there was one bloke for Geelong who was going to tear it apart and his kicking let him down. Yeah. Who? C Mooney, correct. Yeah, C Mooney missed, missed one, one two meters out. Right on half time, he says that that yeah, didn't he look early. He looked yeah. like he was going to rip that yeah. grand final, and then he just lost his way. Gives him, yeah, gave him nightmares. Was that the year Harley got concussion? Had to go off, come on, come off. Mm, can't remember. One year mm. Tom Harley got concussion. Yeah, and might have been the year after. That, that cost him as well. They told him to get on his bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, <dear. laughs> double O, uh, do, you've done, yeah, double O nine. We're going to talk about. What you spoke about, the dual winners. Well, it wasn't dual winners. Chappie won. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Jason Graham finished on the same amount of votes. How did it work? Yeah. So how Winner on a count back. Count back for what? For what? BOGs yeah. from the from the panellists. So Chappie got nine votes, three BOGs. Oh, gotcha. Jason Graham got nine votes, but only got two BOGs. Yeah, gotcha. Two, then. two three voters. Yeah, gotcha. And then the rest were made up of... That's unlucky. That's that's not right. So does this stem back to the um, Amateur Football League, the AFL? You just give both. Just give, yeah, both. give two. The panellists have given... They wouldn't have the brown, though. Yeah, but hang on a minute. They wouldn't have made two Norm Smiths. That's just how the AFL rolls, mate. That's true, too. Well, do it, AFL. Yeah, I know. Do it. Give do them it. a retrospective one. Do it. Because Jason it. Graham should have... He should have exactly. got, got it. He's, he's no worse off. He got nine votes. He got yeah. no worse yeah, off. That's, that's yeah. disappointing. So... Two ten, the draw. Lenny Hayes, Leonard. I thought yeah. Brendan Goddard was good that day. Yeah, they were yeah, yeah. both as good as each other that day. Yeah. I thought. The replay. Yeah, who won the? Re- oh, I've got oh, no hang idea. on, the replay. Was it Luke? Ball? No, no, Luke Ball. nah. The replay. Hang on, it's not Andrew Embley's relation. Ah, <laughs> Scott. Scott, we have. You have to. Can you? I'll, Scott? Bring, I'll, I'll find the clip and put it in. Oh, Scott Embleton. Scott Embleton. Yeah, Embleton. Yeah, Scott Embleton. So Arnold Brothers. <laughs> Presented the Norm Smith Medal, and he must have had stage fright. <laughs> Couldn't pronounce it. Or drunk. <laughs> Who the hell yeah, like Steve Brax? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so have a look at the clip, and Scott, you'll see it for yourself. Twelve seconds later, and the winner of the Norm Smith Medal for 2010 is Scott Emberley from Collingwood. Even pronounce how he did it. Anyway, no, we can't. 2011, Jimmy Bartow. Yeah, he was great that day. He was good that day. They beat Collingwood that day. Yeah. Um, 212, Ryan O'Keefe. Great grand final. He was good. The Sid- that Sydney Hawthorne grand he was, final. He was consistent all day, Ryan O'Keefe. There was no yeah. standouts, but he was consistent. Oh, I thought McCoskey was good, but he, he was good. But I thought Ryan of... O'Keefe was just in the, all day, he was in the play. So yeah. Am I right what a grand saying... final. That was an underrated one. People forget about that it one. Was, yeah, am I right tough. in saying, and this stems back to one of our previous episodes where I said, it was about, I don't know if we are talking about Jason, Jason Horn Francis being a professional. When we were talking about the rising star, Nathan Buckley, playing one year. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Going to Collingwood. Yeah, yeah. So, Ryan O'Keefe, the year before, wanted to be traded to North Melbourne. Was it North yeah, or Carlton? North Melbourne. He toured the North Melbourne okay. facility. I didn't facilities. know that. He was as good as gone. Didn't want to be at Sydney. And they said, we're not trading you. Comes out next year, wins a premiership and wins a Norm Smith medal. That's true professionalism. I agree. So The yeah. Sydney footy club. I've seen oh, this they before. Do. Uh, they do well. Not many players leave Sydney. No. No. Never bottom out, mate. They very no. rarely bottom out. How many players leave Sydney? And right. if you leave, you're no good. Anyway. They deem you no good. Yeah. So, yep. Yep. Yeah. That's true. Two thirteen. Brian Lake. They beat oh, yeah, Fremantle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Gunston finished second. Dave uh, Mundy finished third. But he was good. Lake wasn't he? He was very good. Yep. What Tough. was his name before that? Harris. Harris. Brian Harris. Brian Harris. I'd be changing Brian before your surname. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for those Brian's out there. Brian Harris. <laughs> Tell them Brian, that's a horrendous you. name. Change it. Oh dear. Uh, Two fourteen. Luke Hodge. Yep. Again. Yep. He was tremendous. Kicked a Lewis great goal. Mitchell were yeah. second and third, but that's... yeah, that that was the Eagles premiership. Yeah. When they beat the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Two fifteen. Cyril. Oh. I don't know about that. Who was second and third? Mitchell nine, Franklin four. I thought Mitchell was probably. I thought Mitchell that day. He was the engine all day, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, mm. yeah. Don't get me wrong, Rialdi will pop up and do this incredible because he was. 
But I thought Mitchell was just the most consistent that what, day. That's did he kick goals zero that day? He must have kicked three. Yeah, or I didn't four. have got the stats for that. No, I was going to say he must have kicked three or four. Will Langford kicked a couple and got one. Yeah, he got he got he two votes. One. Will Langford took oh, a goal from one. the boundary. Yeah, it just bounced, 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 bounced over. But yeah, it was, he was okay that day. He was okay. Did his job. Will Langford far out. Anyway. I tell you, who keeps popping up in Hawthorne premierships for placings is Brad Sewell in all their premierships. Just does a job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he was a good, honest footballer. Yeah, you know what he does? He goes in, gets his clock card, 9, <laughs> 9 a.m. Clock. Morning, Ralph. Clock out. Yeah. Morning, Sam. Morning, Clark. He goes home. There's Morning. no fuss here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morning, Louis. Straight, straight yeah. to the tea room. Have a coffee. Yeah. No worries. 216. Was Jay jo- Joe Hannison, was he? Yeah, he was good. Yeah, he, he was, was. He was good. He was brilliant that day. I, I thought Liam Pickin was really good was that day. He was tremendous. Probably. It, you know what? Pickin yeah, could have actually won. Yeah. won. Even um, oh no, both of them were worthy. I thought even um, I thought Tom Boyd was Tom good. Bo- I was going to say even Tom Boyd. Yeah, he was finished. good at pivotal moments, and I suppose that all counts. Mm. But as a consistent performer, those two are the ones. Who, who yeah. was? Who was Western Bulldogs fullback that day? Their fullback that played on Croft. Buddy. <laughs> no. Yeah, oh no. yeah, I know. The, did he? Was it Roughhead? Jordan no. Roughhead? No, no. He played that day. Didn't yeah, he? he didn't play on him. What's his name? He was shorter. He's always shorter. Um. Yeah, um, not yeah. I know who you're talking about. Oh, I've gone it? blank. We'll get back to yeah, yeah, Morris, Dale Morris, Dale correct. Morris played with a broken back. That he did day. incredible. The broken back, and then tackled Buddy for um, Boyd to kick that yeah. goal. Like tackled him. Just, how do you play with a broken I've back? Got a, I've got amazing. A, I've got a mate in another world that um, tell Mad Footscray supporter. And he always tells me Dale Morris's ability to not chew off more than he could. Yeah. Take on, it was always short. It was always short kicks. Yeah, because he couldn't always, kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he but racked up. You know, what that tells, you, know, you know what that tells me? A professional, exactly. smart he football knows his limitations. Correct. No, he was playing reserves VFL football. Yeah. Reserves VFL. Anyway, football. yeah, well, you know, incredible. So we go into the Richmond era, the, the dusty era, <laughs> the dusty era. <laughs> so seventeen, third, yep, seventeen. Two, Martin Hawley finished second, and the reason why I'm going to say this is. Hawley was in was second in all the premiership years as well. Yeah, he was, was tremendous. Photos. There was one where he should have won it, but anyway. And Edwards was also third in all the. Yeah, that's interesting. So there you go, that's Hawley, Edwards, Martin. Three years were in, in all the own. premiership. It's unbelievable. And Martin won them all three. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got no problem. Yeah, with that. I know. I'm not. What am well, I saying? Let's be honest. He was sensational in all three. So yeah. 17, 18, 19. I mean, if we do it, no, not well, 18, 19, yeah, not sure. 18. He didn't play, mate. Sorry, not 18. Unless he got traded yeah, and traded back to Richmond. Sorry. Yes. Luke Shuey won between 18. Taylor Adams finished second in 18. Yeah, he had a good game. I remember yeah, that. I don't, I don't remember that. I don't know Jordan why. Jordan Dugowie played well that day too. He did. And yeah, so he did. Uh, your mate plays at North now. Jaden. Jaden played well that day. Yeah. Star that day. He was good. Was, was that was, was um, 2018 Sheeds Premiership? Yep. Sheeds Premiership. I remember that. Yep. yep. Okay. Great hit. 219, so, Martin again. We've spoken about that. Yep. Perfect 15. Yep. Again, Hawley. You know, Pickett got votes that day. Yeah, he was good. In De- on debut. Yeah, he was good. We were watching that together, remember? Yeah. And you just had a go at me about Marlon Pickett, and I said, he's playing great. Brave selection, but... It worked. I'll give you an interesting one for 2020. Martin, when they beat Geelong, that was the COVID oh, year. Again, great, perfect 15 great. for Martin. Yep. Uh, Jaden Short finished second in the Norm Smith. Really? Am- then then how many votes did he get? Six. Oh, he, fell, oh, yeah. he fell well short, though. But, <laughs> Going all right, and cut. It's going all right. It's going all right. It's going all right. Anyway, and uh, Petrarca, another perfect fifteen. Twenty twenty one. Oh, that's outstanding. Yeah, he was. Old. Yeah, 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 yes. How do you, how do you well, he equaled, take that off? Him? He equaled Simon Black's death by thirty nine cuts. No, no. There's not do even. You know there's that, not even to talk about. Do you know that champion data? Of, yes, they yes. had forty for ages, and yep. we were texting. I go, we we're no, talking about 40, that, mate. And you're because we're in lockdown, so we yeah, couldn't. We're in lockdown. <laughs> yeah, so we couldn't watch it. We couldn't enjoy. Yeah, the, forty. Holiday. A good hour. Yeah, for an hour, and then they changed it back. I think we were just. We didn't even. It was like, hey, they've changed the stat. They've changed yeah, his disposals. So, so how do you in the put, bottom scrolling? So how do you put forty? Do you just make a mistake? Like you, you. Oh, there's there's like like some data, right? Yeah, they so you they go through everything straight after, pretty close to straight away. Okay, and they would have reviewed. So after something an like hour, a ground what, what ball, were they they, they would have reviewed the back and. Yeah. Yeah, like, well, they would have picked it up. I don't think it was an hour. It might have been ten minutes. Anyway, so, Jeez, so how, but how, I still don't understand how they. Oh, they would have reviewed it, and that. someone would have called. Yeah, someone would have. Oh, right, yeah. just, okay. they would have just reviewed well, it and cleaned it, it up. Yeah, they did. 
So he could. And then last year, Isaac Smith. I thought Paddy Dangerfield. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, I don't, know, I, didn't, I don't know how Isaac Smith won it, but anyway, yeah, oh, Tyson Stengel again. Although, and although, nothing grand final. Let's yeah, no, be but although, the Dangerfield was. Out. He was yeah, he was yeah. tremendous. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess. Jimmy so Cameron was okay. Yeah, he was, he was okay. Okay. So there's our episode of Norm Smith Medalists. We hope you enjoyed it. Very interesting, some of them. I must very say, some of the votes. Yeah, it was good. It was good. It was very it's it's good to get an insight on some of the games that we've forgotten about. You yeah, know, I agree. Totally yeah. Bygone yep. era. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And don't forget to subscribe. Once again, we'd love you to subscribe. We're getting a lot of views. We just love you to subscribe. We've got that target that we spoke about at the start of the episode. So subscribe and like and make some comments and we'll see you in the next episode. Yes,